as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer please don't be distracted it is part of the service pray from the depth of your heart any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight hallelujah so you pray with fervency you pray with all your heart lift your voice and say father, father. shout it again say father, father. in the name of jesus I decree and I declare that everything you have for me I receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors, direction, illumination, I receive tonight by your spirit. Someone pray. those following from across the globe pray in the spirit that which god has in store for you receive by faith the bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of god there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously, someone is praying without distraction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandekeberekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. 
This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. You do not laugh during the time of war. You do not laugh during the time of travail. No woman laughs while giving birth. It is after the child comes that laughter follows. Someone pray. Oh God, make me to laugh. Release my laughter in this season. Laughter meaning rest. Laughter meaning victory established. Laughter meaning testimonies made manifest. Is someone praying? All that hear will laugh with me. All that see tonight will rejoice with me. All that see my healing. All that see my prophetic word. All that see God locate me will laugh with me. Go ahead and pray. Shake Parakatoski Atabat. Sabranda Gaberekosha la Grosca Berekosh. All that here will laugh with me. All that here will rejoice with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Next prayer point. You have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy. Watch this. If water can be turned to wine, it means pain can be turned to joy. If water can be turned to wine, it means unemployment can be turned to victory, even in terms of employment. The, 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 listen, the idea there is not just water turning to wine. The idea is the power that can make anything become what God says. Anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look up, please. In the court of law, when a verdict is given and it is against you, and you feel that justice was not meted out, there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah 
He said, pack up your load. He said, God Almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man, put your house together, you will not recover. Hezekiah said, I respect you prophet, you leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. That in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns, let the mercy of God overrun and overturn. Open your mouth and pray. Let mercy, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed. Let it be overrun. Let it be overturned. Koinonia, pray. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings that even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuage verse 2 he says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man if this rain continues even the man I'm trying to preserve that evil will eventually destroy him there is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve while it was rising God remembered for the sake of Noah I have to stop this flood now you are going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say Lord remember that I am your son remember that I am your daughter the Bible said which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish 
for, and he will give him a serpent. Go ahead and pray. Lord, remember, not as though he has forgotten. It's a law in the spirit. It brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life. Go ahead and pray. If you remember Noah, remember my family, remember me. Go ahead and pray. And the Lord remembered Noah. And the Lord remembered Joshua Selman. And the Lord remembered Koinonia. And the Lord remembered your business. And the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that will follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now Evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light. Which of you, whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone, or will ask him for meat, fish, and will give him a serpent? And God remembered Noah. And God remembered Noah. There are men who can forget. And it is a terrible thing when people forget about you. I have taught you here one man forgetting Joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting Mordecai left him at the gate for only God knows how long but the Bible says that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the Chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them, but the Spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance. That includes your destiny helper. He can bring to remembrance that you said in January, this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power. What has stopped you from acting? Say, Father. Shout it. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you are programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. There was a very interesting story in the Bible. It's a story of the fig tree. The Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs. And Jesus was hungry. And he saw a fig tree, green, very inviting. And he went there hoping to get figs. And the Bible says not finding figs, he cursed it and said, no man eat of you again. And by the next day, when they came there, the Bible says they saw that it had withered. You're going to pray. It is dangerous to not bear fruit. John 15 and verse 8. Herein is our Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain. Fruit here talks of results. It matters that you produce results. Can I tell you, the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit. You bear fruit in ministry. You bear fruit in business. You bear, there are many fruitless Christians. They are born again. They are saved. But there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations. Don't expect people to come and rally around you. Don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit. You are going to cry. The spirit that is responsible. Listen, listen, listen. 
I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it and you find out that there is rot and something happening within immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin you're going to pray everything fighting fruitfulness in my life in whatever manner I cause it tonight by the God of heaven go ahead and pray everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry fruitfulness in destiny fruitfulness in career I cause it by the Spirit of the Living God go ahead and pray Go ahead and pray. Shalika pas kebrande kebereka tosiata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Helakosa kreska barakatos yatabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7.
But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner. Go ahead. Our father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen. He said, give us this day our daily bread. There is something called daily bread. Daily bread. Bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour. It means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day. God is that meticulous. He's that, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry, give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. I want to do something very prophetic now. And I want you to listen. This will usher us into our prayers. If I don't get, I will pray for the sick and pray for everybody. But it will be a quick walk tonight. But I want you to listen. Hallelujah. I went to the place of prayer. And while I was praying, as I heard the word freedom, I was meditating, meditating, meditating in my spirit. And then all of a sudden, I know when that glory comes. That Shekinah just came and mantled me and covered me. I started shaking like a leaf. And all of a sudden, I found myself singing a song. I started uttering words and songs, songs by the spirit. And I said, what is the meaning of this? The song just began to come by the Spirit. And God told me that it's with this song that he's going to do many things this night. To tell you how serious it is, I'm even going to have to play the song to remember it. I wrote it down and I sent to these guys. And so that you don't think that this is something that is... is I had to do a rehearsal. And I told myself, I said, what is this? And the Lord said, I want to impart, I want to give my people the gift of wisdom. I want you to know how God works. You see, you are a spiritual man, you need to learn to discern. We are organized people, but many people cannot get into prophetic things because you do not know that songs are ladders in the spirit. Sit down, sit down. I've, I've not, listen, I'm going to play it for you. This is, I don't even, until I play it, I may not even remember it. 
This is before the whole world. This is me recording where I don't know where this volume is. Watch this. Hold on, just a moment. So here's what it sounds like. This was under the anointing by the Spirit of God. I'm going to sing it now for you. You just listen. I receive Hallelujah. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. Very simple song. Says, Breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, say breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Fast your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Say, exalted. Is a prayer. Will you breathe, Lord? Breathe, breathe, Lord. Breathe, breathe upon my life. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus, lift it up, glorify.
exalted, 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 lifted up, lifted up, lifted up, lifted up, exalted, 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 exalted. Nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. That's your prayer now. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. Shema Salia Barada. Sing, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Turn it into a prayer tonight. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Jesus, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. Manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Lifted up, glorified till the nations see Jesus. Lifted up, one last time now. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord. my hands in the name that is above all names there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now I decree and declare I want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore I stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe lord
nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out, see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God breathes right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women women in many families their destiny is not just maritally it has tied everything in their life in the name of Jesus as my God breathes upon this congregation every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft be released now be released now be released now Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And as you shout that name That devil must let you go I like you to be sensitive Koinonia are you ready? My father I pray That by the mystery of this your wisdom Let the bound be free now At the count of three Shout Jesus One Two, three. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Edge long captivities. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Exo. about to breathe upon those trusting God for employment I'm hearing this in my spirit that those who are trusting God to open career doors right now I stretch my hands let the breath of the spirit rest upon you at the count of three father where are they men and women who must testify of your man
mighty hand may that grace rest upon you now 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 receive manifest his wisdom his power receive manifest his wisdom his power receive manifest his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus who is Gabriel I'm hearing the name Gabriel please I want you to be sensitive God is doing a quick walk is there someone called Gabriel very quickly I want to speak to you and then I'm hearing the name Hosea who is Hosea H-O-S-E-A I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front there is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby? Gabriel, I will pray for you. Father, I stretch my hands. Para shola ka sega besiata kranti gele su kaparia kaparusa sega de shiata basubras I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you This is not to these guys I'm here I don't know what was taken from you but the Lord is saying I should prophesy therefore I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing it returns now it returns now it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family. I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea and the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles. It will come, then it will stay. The, help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus for that lawyer. Captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times, just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen, and the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles 
that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness. People that have been trusting God for children for a long time. I want you to know that this is your prophetic word. It's not a song. It's not a song. Are you ready now? Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Say. Breathe, Lord. Breathe. Breathe upon my life. God for the fruit of the womb lay your hands whether for you or for someone you can stand for someone you are a man you can stand for your wife I want to make this declaration God does not lie in the name of Jesus the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft my God I'm just seeing fire burning things that look like threats in the name of Jesus Christ at the instruction of the spirit I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ receive your miracle children receive your miracle children receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God would interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing mantle you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone you came here. You could not move your neck very well. I want you to check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. You are wearing like green or lime, something like that. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is there someone like that? Come. Come. Where? Why are they clapping? Check yourself and come. A miracle has happened to you now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Upon my life. Sing, breathe, Lord. I manifest your power, your wisdom to the nations. 
see Jesus lifted up, exalted, I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified, madam. You have a problem. What what did, what was the problem? For some times now, I've been feeling hotness in this side of my body. Just today, the team moved. Madam, looked at me. I want to look at me. I want to pray for you, so that we we'll save time. I'm seeing that the devil brought stroke. This thing would have led to stroke. You've been feeling half of you. It's as if you feel numbness yes, sometimes. Yes, yes. I want you to stand up. Yes. Check your neck now. Move it. Don't be afraid. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Move it. Any pain. Look at this. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body, we command it back to hell where it came from. Back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. That is only a matter of time. Believe me, I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. I declare, come out of that demonic coffin now. Come out of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State. And the Lord is telling me, that the power of God is coming upon you. There is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft. Witchcraft that does not allow people rise. This is a do state. In the name that is above all names. I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply. Wherever you are. In the main auditorium. All the overflows are following online. That demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom and I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this but I'm hearing in my spirit now and the Lord is saying announce it openly. The Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country that he will not fall and go the way of the grave. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I would not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave, by the mercies of God, we decree and declare, may they be preserved. Yeah. By the mercies of God, may they be preserved. Amen. One of these, my ushering ladies, I know you people are walking, but the power of God is coming on one of you. God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time, that he has brought answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. Even though you are ushers, you are serving, but God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he's bringing answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare as God is touching them, every long-standing prayer point that you have written and written and written and written again, may my God arise and breathe upon that prayer right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping. 
for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one, I'm the one praying, quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again. I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any, may the earth open and swallow them. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. Place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai, I want to pray for you. Um, because what you, are, what you think is just a lump and pain, I want to cause it. I'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous. And the Lord wants me to rebuke it. You just think it's just a lump. But this thing is the devil wanting to put. I hope you know that cancer is a spirit. Do you know that? Please believe it. Any daughter of Abraham here. That the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body. I stand by the God who sent me for your sake. I decree and declare. Tonight cancer dies from your body. Cancer dies from your body 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 in the name of Jesus let me pray for you father anyone here who is sick you came with a sick person you can release your faith and I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service all the hospitals that are following right now, you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands. Or if the patients are unconscious, you can leave them. The loved ones who are there with them can stand. I'm about to pray. We want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now. Please, I want you to believe healing is real. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood, be healed from it now. HIV be healed. Diabetes be healed. Arthritis be healed. Blindness be healed. Deafness be healed. Pile be healed. Kidney problems be healed. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion. 
I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit. Both men and women, from the family you come from, there is a spirit. I'm not asking you to come out. This is the spirit of drunkenness. You love God, oh, but you cannot see alcohol. It's not like whether you are good or bad. I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God, where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. And then I'm praying right now. Please take it seriously. I curse the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer. But particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter because these are forces that have tied down the family and they love God. In Jesus' name, I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence. Any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the Spirit and I declare may that Spirit be banished from your family. May that Spirit be banished from your family. Hallelujah. Banished from your family. Now very quickly we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Sing any part you can remember. While we are singing it, please collect the prayer request. Let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you. Hallelujah. Write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord. And I assure you that by the God of heaven, you will watch the wonder that will happen. Those outside, those inside, you can submit your prayer request. If your, if your request has not been collected, just wave it, let the usher see it very quickly. Now you pass it to the last, the aisle by the left or right. No one will read it, don't worry. Just pass it so that quickly, if you are yet to write a few things, please release your faith. Let me give you a minute. And those who are following from across the nations, write your requests very quickly. This is the time when God will be visiting people mightily. You came here. Make sure that your faith is enlarged. Hallelujah. Have you learned the song now? Or do we need to do any rehearsal again?
counted till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Turn it to a prayer now, everyone. Breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. Upon my life. When this song came to me by the Spirit, that was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you are saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests, you are saying breathe we are asking him it's not the kneeling down of joshua selman that makes these prayers to be answered god gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of christ this is not just to koinonia that's going to be our prayer please submit your request very quickly we're going to sing this song one twice once twice and then i speak over this request and then i will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit according to isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom let me prophesy receive manifest his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted receive manifest his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up in Genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the Bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the Bible says verse 2 that God caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth 
So the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things. It's not only life. When you are saying, breathe upon me, you are saying, Lord, breathe upon everything. Let shame go as you breathe. Let reproach go as you breathe. Let everything that is not of God, a cupboard, the name that have been named, people have mocked your God. You are saying, Lord, breathe upon me. And for some of you who are saying there is no life in me, I don't even have hope to move forward. You are saying, breathe life into me. You are still going to sing this song. Now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray. The breath of God. Ruach. Numa. The wind of the spirit. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. A sound. And he said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And say, all wind, breathe upon this lane. And the wind came upon the bones. And there arose an exceeding great army sing the song one last time with understanding in your heart breathe lord Sea. I'm praying, oh God. 
God of my covenant that you will arise in power that you will arise in glory that you will arise as a mighty warrior that you are and breathe upon this request breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus that everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead let it be turned into a testimony turned into a testimony turned into a testimony turned into a testimony for some of you it arrives Monday for some Tuesday for some tonight in the name of Jesus Christ speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God and hear me every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names wherever they are by the power of the prophetic we call them to your life now I call them to your life now therefore I stand upon this request and I declare these Egyptians that you see today may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now I feel led to do this we're wrapping up in one minute I felt stirred in my heart the one thing you want God to do for you I know you wrote a lot of things here but I'm releasing my faith with you the one thing there may be many things but there might be one thing you are crying and saying Lord visit me you are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes please I want you to pray I'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the God of wonder surprise you you go shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray impossible situations don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny go ahead and pray I release my faith as one sent I release my faith by the spirit of grace go ahead and pray remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will this is why we pray with confidence for the Bible says this is the confidence that we have that when we ask anything according to his will we know that he hears us please go ahead and pray receive manifest receive manifest receive manifest receive keep praying manifest receive manifest receive manifest his power his wisdom his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted Lord we receive answers outside inside across the nations of the earth we receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God answers of wisdom answers of favor answers of restoration answers of speed answers of establishment answers of fruitfulness answers of breakthroughs 
answers of higher realms answers of superior dimensions answers of open doors answers of open gates answers of open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year September ending October November December may my God who is also your God do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of Jesus finally every point of contact you came with I see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones I see people lifting medical bills or medical reports I see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact I stand and I call upon the God who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of Jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh I decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week this week, this week, this week, this week, this week, this week, in the name of Jesus Christ. Where they rejected you, let this grace rest upon you, go back again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, Koinonia. Any man who fights you beginning from today, on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a God of vengeance 
may he arise for you as a God of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again, there was a compensation system for Jacob. It was Jacob that gave birth to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever. Became a prime minister in Egypt and reigned, preserved God's people till he died. I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it, you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing, every satanic thing that does not name the name of Christ. You are waving it prophetically. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please allow me to make the altar call. My apologies for stretching you beyond today. You can see that it was a prophetic service. You are in this place. For your sake, we're going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. I don't want you to wait until anybody comes. You be the first with boldness and with seriousness. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Young and old, male or female, are you coming? Give them a big, big hand clap as they come. Let's encourage them. He wants to breathe upon your life. Don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is telling you you should be here. Come. Come, come. He wants to build you tonight. Just a minute. We are staying back for your sake. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations come see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you are joining them, make it very fast because I'm about to lead them to pray. You're coming, please double up. We just have a minute for you. And please, for those who are coming from outside this place, allow them to double up their steps so that we can wrap up. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for coming out to make this noble decision. You have seen the hand of God. You've seen what he is able to do. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I declare that I cannot help myself, but I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power 
of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight, I am a child of God forever and ever. Amen. Keep your beautiful hands lifted as I pray for you. Dear Lord, we thank you for these precious people. You have brought them by your spirit and the many more who are connecting, making these declarations of faith across the airwaves. In the name of Jesus, I declare that upon the authority of your word, let their sins be forgiven forever. And that in the name of Jesus, from today, they become bona fide recipients of your life. In the name of Jesus, I declare that you go forward ever and backward never. You will enjoy the ministry of the Holy Spirit and you will grow in grace. For in Jesus' mighty and matchless name, I pray. Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray. Do not allow the devil distract you. Forget about whatever bills, whatever issues and let us join in prayer. The fervent, effectual prayer. There is such a description to prayer as fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Alanda salakata preskati la kaparuyas Ebreke de beleka tos kati branda shadakata balaka tos Pray He that speaketh in an unknown tongue And defieth himself And defieth himself Shana makata paratas kata branda ke barato shiata Ebrakos kati la parianda preskati balasia tabaka tos Shimanakatabriakatosh Leke pros, leke te brandos koto brate ko shige de belege da. Shibenia shabarata kata branda kata balaka tosia. Imbreke te parus kati laka parus ya te gede belege tos. Shana belege te parus kata branda kata paru kata shakete. Imbreke tos koto brotos kote leke te branda kata balaka tos. Shemanda kata proskoto balika prada da katalia da balagatos. Shade baka paratos kani bande prada gade balagatos. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. 
are we together so he reveals to us that satan can steal satan can kill and satan can destroy now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray in matthew chapter 21 please give us verse 13. matthew 21 and verse 13. this was when jesus came into the temple when he came into the temple the bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer pray pray let it be from the depth of your heart my house shall be called a house of prayer satan you have no authority to steal from this house to kill from this house to destroy this house because it is a house of prayer hallelujah hallelujah listen i want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying you are not wasting your time something is happening to you acts chapter 28 acts chapter 28 in jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the bible says when paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it 
and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can i tell you i know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirits it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense what, what, why, why am I receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer the fire expose the viper the fire expose the cause of your pain the fire expose the cause of the delays the fire expose the cause of the disfavor the fire expose the cause of the antagonisms Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra katos koto prende gata. Lekata braske de shakata bere kotos. Embre katos. Eka shakata bere tos keniata kasa. of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walked through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by God with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the Bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place 
in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels can i tell you this listen you don't know how cheap satan is until you pray satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become that a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the holy ghost to get it out but it goes to a desert where there's no preacher no keyboard no drums no choir no protocol the heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else that means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that I am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire Saneka paroto sotokoto pariyata a flame of fire a flame of fire Don't be tired. Make sure you're praying. He pratos koto prakete pratos kate prende kate le kotusia. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Is it projected can you see it can we read it together one to read wherefore we would have come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us hold on wherefore your favor would have arrived since wherefore your lifting wherefore your destiny helper would have arrived he said i tried once and again but satan listen i understand this scripture very very well let me tell you a story and then we'll pray sir i don't know how many years now i was praying one night true story and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then i'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head i'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and he was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement he says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was a statement but Satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you But Satan 
hindered us now listen let me tell you this even though it happened with Jesus I want to explain something to you hmm. the centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with Jesus to come and rescue their child from dying remember that story while Jesus was on his way going another woman interrupted him and said please I have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic account they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 lift your voice and pray with understanding I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb open doors that should have come lift things that should have come answers to prayer that should have come Alike paruska te brante ke toska via da box. E brante te kotos koto brante ke te le katos. Shames konde brante katos kiata. Se te brante ke di bash. de peketo proskoto maria tabada doshane e preketo skoto prato skoto prende kete ba e prakato sopro sosi kete legot makata prende ke perusiata e kreto skoto shoto prende kete ba retos soon round up you will marvel and wonder the results you will get from this prayer believe me now listen once upon a time in Bible days there was a criminal called Barabbas listen carefully many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life there was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him and then one time when they caught Jesus also listen to me Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand and they asked the people who do you want to be crucified and who should be released there was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said this is the one to crucify and release the criminal how do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not 
allow your good to be evil spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be evil spoken of Barabbas should never be released a criminal in the stead of a righteous man please pray your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of God oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good to be misrepresented hallelujah 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 praise the Lord let me show you a mystery in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 the Bible says and Abraham was old and well stricken in age help me finish that scripture and the Lord had blessed him in how many things so God is able to grant rest round about. Now please come with me to Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26. Acts 16. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25. Acts 16 from verse 25. Now when you begin to read contextually, you will see that Paul casted a demon out of a lady who brought gain for her masters by divination. Is that true? On account of that miracle, it boomeranged on them and they, they now took them and kept them in prison. But there's something I want to show now. A prison is a place of confinement. It's a place of limitation. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake hallelujah so that the foundations of the prison were shaken please read the next sentence everyone and immediately all doors how many doors how many doors immediately once there was an earthquake all doors financial doors open all doors open a God can give a man rest round about he says all doors open all doors open listen when you read 2nd Kings chapter 5 will not turn there for sake of time the Bible says Naaman there was a man called Naaman. He was the captain of the Syrian army, he says. He said he was a valiant man in war, but he was leprous. Thank God for the areas you have gotten results, but for the sake of one other area, you must insist in prayer that in this year, all doors open. Lift your voice and pray. All doors, all doors, all doors. All doors, Kabarosh Katepekatos, Embra Katosh Kotoprente Kote Sekete, all doors. In the marvelous name of Jesus, all doors. All doors, open. All doors, doors of favor, open. All doors, doors of speed, open.
doors of ministry open. Open in the name of Jesus. All doors open. Doors of jobs open. Doors of relationships open. Doors of fruitfulness open. Hallelujah. 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 We're wrapping up. Please do not forget what I want to share with you now. Please look up. Let me establish probably the last prayer point or so. The gospel, the gospel that we, that we preach has two sides to it. There is the message that saves. That is the first dimension of the gospel, the message that saves. And the key to propagating that message is evangelism. Are we together? But there is the second dimension to it, the ideology that transforms society. So there are two sides to the gospel. There is the message that saves. There is the ideology that transforms society. The key to advancing the message is called evangelism. But the key to advancing the ideology is called influence. I'm establishing my prayer request now, my prayer point. So for you to completely preach the gospel, you need to embrace the message that saves that deals with you personal salvation but territorial salvation is the mindset that is introduced into systems and structures that enthrones Christ are we together now if you focus only on the message that saves you will be saved as an individual but your territory will frustrate your Christian experience an example was Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah Lot was a righteous man as a person but he was among a people who were depraved and he could not find expression so there are two keys to kingdom advance number one is evangelism number two is influence Satan has a primary assignment to stop both but if for any reason he can't do anything about your receiving Jesus now your personal salvation is a done deal the next place of attack is your influence what is influence influence is the capacity to cause men to buy into your ideologies without using force or cruelty Territories can be changed overnight with the power of influence. Cultures are shaped through influence. The Bible says, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men. Can I tell you, most people downplay the power of influence. At every point in your life, someone is influencing you. And you are to bring the influence of the kingdom. Satan will fight influence in any way he can i want to show you a scripture because the gates of influence is about to open for someone are we together in isaiah chapter 60 when you read from verse 1 to 3 it says arise shine for your light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you I would like to quote this many times from Amplified. It says, arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new light. It says, for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Listen carefully. Verse 2 says, for darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen in you. Verse 3 influence gentiles all nations shall come not to you to your light and even their arrogant kings their kings already have results they won't come to your light they come to the brightness of your rising 
are we together the end time church is going to advance the frontiers of the kingdom not only through evangelism and discipleship but it will come through influence acts chapter 12. oh someone's life is changing acts chapter 12 from verse 1 please do not forget this scripture and this revelation now watch this you know that the disciples of jesus i want to show you how satan fights influence you know the disciples of jesus were in different levels there was the 70 or 72 he had the 12 but there were three people there were things that they saw the rest did not see and satan marked every one of them he started by beheading james it was peter james and john the threefold cord that cannot be easily, easily broken when he found james and they beheaded him he went straight to paul the bible says they killed james and he saw that it pleased the jews and he went straight to peter during the days of the unleavened bread be patient let's read the bible says when he had apprehended peter he put him in where prison what was he fighting he put him in prison you would think that would be enough but then he brought four quaternions of soldiers to still keep him in prison it was not just confinement he wanted four eight soldiers again covered him intending after easter to bring him forth before the people verse 5 the bible says peter therefore was kept in prison please help me finish the remaining part of that sentence but prayer was made this was what was not done for james unfortunately there is no record that they stood in for james and james died but when peter was there the church said no way there is something we can do please keep it there we're still reading the bible says prayers was made without season of the church unto god for him the result verse 6 the bible says and when herod would have brought him forth the same night peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains Abba, you lock a man in prison tie him with chains and put eight soldiers that's not a fight for liberty is influence and the bible says that the keepers were there before the door who kept the prison verse 7 and behold the angel of the lord came in response to prayer listen and a light shined in that prison and he smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and his chains fell from his hands verse 8 the bible says the angel said guard yourself and bind on thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment about thee and follow me verse 9 and when he went out listen carefully he followed him and wist not that which was true which was done by the angel but he thought he saw a vision now verse 10 the bible says he held peter the angel and they passed the first and second ward or gate watch this now they passed the first gate he was no longer in prison but he was still confined they passed the second gate far from the prison but still no liberty and the bible says and they came to the iron gate which leaded to where so there is a gate that leads to the city every man's city is his place of influence did the bible not say you are listen there is a gate that leads to the city when that gate opens the city must see you for who you are and now begin to place a demand the iron gate that leads to the city 
businessmen hear me you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are not there because there are gates that must open I understand what I'm telling you listen in Zaria one time there are few only few people here that really understand you know that may know Zaria the Lord asked me to trek from a place quite far in town and to trek down to a place called aviation and I was trekking and just speaking over that territory because there are spirits that reside over that place I know what it means for the tulip gates of a city to be opened can I tell you you can be doing I've seen many gifted people sir anointed and sincere but the gates that leads to the city has not been opened I've seen business people who cannot understand preachers sincere love God anointed but the two leaf gates in ancient times you would never come into a city until the gate is open is that true every city spiritually has gates just because you move there physically does not mean the gate is open there is a protocol to influence now watch this the first gate opened the second gate opened and the Bible says this very gate was called the iron gate and my Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in Sunday when Jesus prophetically in Psalm 24 was returning back to the land of the living there was a cry lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted ancient doors hold on those doors have been there for a long time they are used to closing over people and the gates replied who is this king of glory can I tell you this listen for a few of you who may have seen the posters that and I'm saying this respectfully of my coming into the city when I was praying that map of Abuja or something there's one I, I, I don't I still don't know the names of your cities you won't believe it cities is city gates there's one map there like that that was what I saw in my vision that was why I told them to put it in the you know the the billboard or whatever it is because you see let me tell you sincerely spiritually speaking gates have seen sit um, um cities have gates you want to understand this properly go to the north you won't get it very well around the south you go to the north you see the entrance of every major place you see that now the gates do not have anything closing them but you enter and believe you are in you the city will show you you are not invited There are many business people in Abuja. You see, the Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Psalms 82 and now verse 5. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. The tragedy is verse 7. It says, but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes. It takes high level spiritual illumination to be able to command authority even in prayer. The foundation for effective prayer is access to the mysteries of the kingdom so that you pray in keeping with the will of God. You can know your prayer will be answered. Your intelligence is consistent with scripture. You are not praying amiss. The iron gate that opens to the city can I tell you this some of you here are business people some of you here have schools you're running some of you here might be other ministers who came that there is a gate that has to open but when that gate opens you will marvel and wonder the Bible says Gideon blew a trumpet and 33,000 people 
you would think he did he did not know where they were hiding he just there was a chauffeur can i tell you there is an anointing called a hear ye him anointing people don't just listen to you because you have something to say it takes more than that this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased creation was given an instruction hear ye him when that grace comes on your business right from where you are when it comes upon the works of your hands i'm saying this because we're about to pray that that gate in the name of jesus christ must be opened hither and thither because the king of glory wants to make a triumphant entry are you ready to pray lift your voice and decree and declare gates a fata be open gates a fata hita and tita be open gates be open The iron gate be broken, be open of influence the gates that leads to the city be open be open the king of glory desires to come in be open Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name. Let me pray for you now. You have done the praying. Second Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 8. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name is to be adored. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same. I want you to be very sensitive now. You have prayed. Let me pray for you. 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 8. Hallelujah. Sir, ordinarily I would have told you this maybe privately in the office, but the Lord is asking me to say it in the open. 
I just saw a vision and I saw you and your wife and I saw it was like two ships and you were walking and you had gotten to the end of one ship and I saw a hand stretched and it held you to another ship and it began to move I believe I, no, please stand, sir. I believe that another phase of ministry you hear what I'm saying go and write it down in addition to what you are currently doing another strange apostolic and, di and prophetic dimension of ministry is opening because this instruction to pray for a long time there are many things that God has not said yet that by by the end of it he will tell why he called for a fast like this just believe me that this fasting is midwifing one season into another that's why God is saying I should say it openly so that the day he tells you they will know that it's not you that just said it that's why I'm saying it in the open ordinarily I may just go and tell him in the office I saw a hand like a sheep sheep and just held him and another season so don't you be surprised what will come out by revelation in the course of this fasting do not think it is the flesh but hear me it is another dimension of ministry this is true it is another dimension of ministry and there are three very strong anointings that will in multiplied dimensions would start working in the life of this man and his wife number one is the teaching grace number two is the healing grace number three is the prophetic grace these three graces in strong dimensions you would begin to see testimonies and manifestations of the hand of God this word would not fail it will happen by the Spirit the second thing I want to say and I apologize again God is asking me to say it and I'm saying it in the open your membership have not yet come the people you are raising are leaders by the time the leaders are raised it will be like an inferno of fire the kind of training you are giving these people is not for membership there is a strengthening they are building capacity because the oil stops when there is no more vessel and so he's listen many of you here you think you are just members of a ministry you are the leaders he's building capacity when he's done it was when the ark was ready that the animals started coming they don't come to wait until the ark i'm speaking this by prophecy an ark of three stories of gopher wood is being built even in this ministry and with this man and when that ark is done the same grace that brought the animals on their own they came two by two and seven by seven they will come by the spirit it will be a wonder to behold what God can do with a man who hears him give Jesus praise now I want to pray for you do you believe in the power of God second Corinthians please stand sir please second Corinthians 9 and verse 8 listen after tonight you must do well to go and invite everybody you know look at what I mean as you are here I'm sure some of you is paining you right now that my loved ones should be here I was glad when they said unto me let us go not let me go let us go is wrong when you are going alone it is let us go anything that is godly is always let us let us make let us go and God is able to make all grace not some grace grace is in dimensions God is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in how many things may abound unto every good work let me explain this scripture that means God is able to coordinate every grace you need and to bring it within your reach 
this scripture is based on the principle that what is on you is what controls what is around you your results are a report card telling us what is on you or not on you thou anointest my head with oil not my cup it is my head that is anointed but i know the size of what is on my head by looking at my cup if my cup is overflowing it means what is on me is overflowing so the physical results in your life are attestations to the grace the kind and the level of grace that you carry are we together you can know that the grace that is upon you has multiplied by the results that change you can know what kind of grace you carry by the testimonies that recycle around your life there are receipts when they change something changed are we together meetings like this by the Spirit of God leads us to pray but then it gives us an opportunity to be able to take something upon our heads that we did not come to church with you can carry something that you did not come with the Bible says when the donkey of Kish was missing they went three days this young man called Saul hmm. and after three days when they did not find it he said let's return back he said no we've left too much there is a seer let us go to that man the word of the Lord does not fail and as soon as they saw Samuel I was so blessed when your man of God made a profound statement he said God's strategy is man it's not a lie when the devil wants to destroy you he introduces a man when God wants to help you he introduces a man in any case it will still be by the ministry of man are we together we are nothing on our own except for the graces that we carry listen the grace of God is a mysterious advantage when it comes upon a man with understanding it can turn the narrative of your destiny in one day when they met Samuel look at a problem that was costing them so much difficulty but as soon as they met a man look at how he trivialized that problem Samuel said no go up I will tell you what is in your heart as soon as Saul saw Samuel the donkey started returning home nobody asked the donkey to return home as soon as Saul met with Samuel be careful what you call impossible there are graces that have been anointed to trivialize your challenges and make it look as if the devil does not exist three things happen when Saul met with Samuel number one he said is it not because the Lord has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance and he poured oil on his head and said three things will happen to you number one the ass the donkey that has been missing you will find out that restoration has happened the anointing can bring restoration that means just because it left you does not mean it left the earth it is still there under a certain condition it can come back number two he said on your way going you will find three men holding two loaves of bread they will salute you and they will give it to you as if they did not know what to do with the bread they bought bread and were on their way home but because of what was on you they will give you two loaves say favor say honor number three he says you will come to a garrison of the Philistines and when you get there something will happen to you and you will now begin to prophesy and he so prophesied that they said is Saul when did Saul who trained you we know how long it took for us to be prophets by what mystery did you access this anointing that by April you will invite someone and say come to my house and you'll be driving very far thinking is where he knew you to be the last time you met and he will tell you no 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 I forgot to tell you I'm no longer there 
listen can I tell you this please hear me I believe in diligence I believe in process but there is a prophetic advantage to living can I tell you this true dominion the zenith of dominion is dominion over time not things time you are truly walking in dominion when you can compress time and I will restore not the things the years let me tell you how God restores and I will pray with you I hope I'm not wasting your time that means you see in the presence of God there's nothing like past present and future that's a reality that only resides within the realm of men he only broke his realm into this tripartite the trinity of time past present and future to help mankind relate with him but God does not live in time he does not even live in eternity because eternity is also time it's just time without end God's realm is called now everything is a present reality you see in truth so when God reaches into what you call he can go into your yesterday and your tomorrow you see physically when you leave yesterday you don't go back again that privilege was not given to men ordinarily except by the gifts of the spirit and you can tap into information but from a physical standpoint when it's gone it's gone but God will find out based on his predeterminate counsel listen carefully how God restores the things that should have happened to you because with every time God gives you there are things that should have happened if by demonic manipulation or your ignorance or carelessness that thing did not happen God will go back into it and push the thing to your future and make it happen again are we together so if by God's predeterminate counsel you should be in your own house by 2018 but by lack of sensitivity you did not take advantage of the prophetic word that came from the man of God maybe at that time you were not serious spiritually and you trivialized the word you see that now the house you are building now is not the same one that should have come so what God does is that instead of you going through the labor of building it he can fix that rep that blessing under a class of blessings called prepared blessings hear me there are times that God will send rain on your farm and the crops will grow well you will do the harvesting and the storage but there are times the urgency in your life does not require corn it requires bread directly both corn and bread it is still the same God who sends it God is able to give seed to the sower and bread to the eater what if the sower is hungry because there are times the sower is hungry and he will need to eat to have the strength to go and sow so God gives you bread so that from the strength of that bread you can go and sow are you learning now believing that the only channel of God's blessing is your farm you are limiting his potentials manna can come from heaven manna coming from heaven does not stop you from sowing it's an act of his mercy to make sure you are satisfied early then you go and sow your name is to be hallowed I spent one month it was a February sir the whole of that one month I was praying and studying on favor because I didn't come from a background that would easily give me that privilege and I knew that if I were to do ministry with integrity I would need the favor of God when I found the keys and found the grace I knew this was it I want to pray some prayers for you now and I want you to receive it 
listen you will thank your man of God and you will see the sincerity and the love in his heart after this meeting and the testimonies that follow listen it takes more than desire to excel the kind and the quality of grace that is upon you when we honor men we don't honor bodies we honor the sacrifice of alignment alongside the election of grace that has captured this vast dimension of graces upon their lives are we together I want to pray for this grace for favor number one Exodus 11 and verse 3 please give us Exodus 11 and verse 3 and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians moreover the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people notice if it is favor it works with the power of sight that means when the favor of God is upon you the only person who should not bless you is a blind man the moment they can make contact with you they are compelled by an anointing hold on the reason why Moses was great was that it was in the sight of Pharaoh and in the sight of the people when favor comes on you both the king and the people see you in a way that is deserving of favor exodus 3 21 and i will give joshua selman favor in the sight of the egyptians what is the proof of the favor and it shall come to pass that when ye go prophesy to yourself I shall not go empty Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 the B part and Esther obtained favor in the sight of how many all them that looked upon her not them who wanted to favor her your mistake was just to look the moment you can look the anointing works by the power of sight please i'm not just exciting you believe in what i'm telling you she obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her verse 17 same chapter read verse 17 if you're a christian one to read and the king loved esther above stop above above that means before esther came there were others he was looking at but as soon as she showed up he loved them but he loved her above and she obtained grace and favor again in his more than all the virgins so that he set a royal crown on her head and made her queen instead of Vashti are you ready to receive I want to pray for you now the power of God will come on you you don't have to kneel just believe There is a lady here who is going to shout right now a loud shout under the anointing the moment that happens that grace for favor will begin to move across this is what i just saw in the spirit the power of god is coming on you it's not something you can stand it is it is these are dynamics of the anointing a loud shout is an anointing of the spirit that will come right now i'm ready to pray for you now father in the name of jesus christ by the spirit of the living god help them please i decree right now may that grace and that unction my goodness let it come upon you right now take that grace take that grace take that anointing help that lady please supernatural favor I decree and declare I place it as a mantle 
upon your head go and excel i shift systems and structures by the power of prophecy may that grace rest upon you find favor with systems find favor with structures find favor with egyptians find favor with kings in the name of jesus In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is honor is a grace. Listen, you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. Honor is a grace that is transferable. Do you know what is, is honor? Honor means to be seen for who you truly are and to be rewarded to match the true worth of your person. That's what honor means. Favor means to be preferred, but honor means to be given the regard that befits your sacrifice. You can be great. But if honor is not on you, you will not be rewarded to match your true worth. Let me show you a scripture. Numbers 27 from verse 18 to 20. Let's hurry up for time. We're wrapping up now. The Lord said unto Moses, Take thee Joshua, the son of Nun, a man in whom is the spirit already, and lay your hands upon him. Is that in your Bible? Verse 2. It says, Set him before Eleazar the priest, and before all the congregation, and give him a charge in their sight. Verse 20. Please read it if you are a Christian. One to read. And thou shalt put some of your honor on him. That all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. People don't listen to you just because you are sincere. There is honor that comes upon you. Call Moses. He's already filled with the Holy Spirit. But lay your hands upon him. And then in anointing him, don't leave him like that. Transfer some of your honor to him. Honor is transferable. Can I pray for you? Father, just help those under the anointing. I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. That in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. May that grace right now, may it rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. That grace for honor, everything that has despised your grace, everything that has despised the investment of God upon your life, I change that narrative by this mantle in the name of Jesus Christ. Help them, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Joseph? Joseph. I'm hearing a name, Joseph. Who is that? Joseph. We're wrapping up. What do you do, my friend? I cannot. What do you, hold on. What do you do? What do you do? Who is a, who is a music minister here? You? Is, is he a member? Huh? You sing. Listen to me. You see that prayer on the iron gate? Go and pray that prayer when you go back. I want to pray for you. Because truly, God wants to lift you. But this, this is not just by human connections. It's not what. This is by the Spirit. 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that grace that gives visibility something is coming on you right now take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same take that grace by the power of the Holy Spirit God is there anybody here that works in access bank access bank access bank oh I know him I didn't even know he was one There are strange liftings that are coming to people in this place I stretch my hands three of you I, you don't have to kneel in the name of Jesus Christ I place an anointing upon you that in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ this grace for favor let it come upon you right now for your lifting you take that grace find favor even with your administrators in the name of Jesus and every conspiracy of darkness to implicate you we cancel it right now by the blood of the Lamb in the mighty name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ two more prayers I want to release the grace for speed truly there is a grace for speed now hear me I don't know how we're going to do it I just have maybe less than two three minutes and I'm done thank you for your patience with me but I want to release this grace from the depth of my heart I told you true dominion is dominion over time now whether you are an usher or not please help me in this prayer because the hand of God will come on people and they will start running physically I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves and you can bring them out right now I stretch my hands this this ministry would be characterized by and with a strange order of speed I stretch my hands at the count of three my God I'm just seeing fire rest on people please bring those under the anointing right now at the count of three one bring them up two Three, take that grace now. Help them. Speed, speed. Help them, please. My God, speed, speed. Receive that grace. And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I command speed, speed in business, speed in ministry, speed in career. I cause the root of delay by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I cause a bakato shedegata. Prates ketebe katosiata. Embra katos katia. Receive speed. Receive speed. Receive speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. you'll never be the same speed 10 years in one year 10 years I prophesy 10 years in one year the result of 10 years in one year 10 years in one year in the name of Jesus Christ help that woman please in the name of Jesus Christ. Please hear me. 
I stand in partnership with the grace upon your man of God in three months from today according to the mystery of the ark in the house of Obed Edom I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak to you between now and the next three months I shift you to a new season help them I shift you to a new season hear me we're wrapping up that night could not the king sleep and he said bring me the chronicles and they opened the chronicles and he saw where Mordecai had saved the life of the king and was not rewarded hear me many of you have been part of the success story of many and yet you've been forgotten I stand by prophecy let the book of remembrance be open now there is an anointing coming on your wife sir I'm seeing an angel pour like oil on her and the Lord is saying she's entering a season of reward this is what I'm seeing in the spirit she's entering a strange season of reward let me say it again anyone who has forgotten you I stand in partnership with the grace of your man of God may that book of remembrance be opened now is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show kindness for Jonathan's sake in the name of Jesus the son of the living God by this fire that is coming upon you I decree and declare wherever the helpers of your destiny are in this Abuja I speak to the north I speak to the east I speak to the south I speak to the west I command them to show up for you now hallelujah last prayer point please hear me the Bible says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established it says believe in his prophets so shall you prosper can I tell you this there are different dimensions and levels of wealth there is wealth that comes by providing value there is wealth that comes by relationships but there is wealth that comes by prophecy it says by this time tomorrow and when he said it the one who the king leans on said even if God will open the windows of heaven might this happen I want to pray for you praying the prophetic dimension of wealth is not a license for laziness however in this kingdom we are not just left with economic principles there is a superior advantage that in addition to the value that we provide in addition to the relationships that come based on our impacting lives my life is a testimony I can tell you there is a prophetic dimension of wealth in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters I pray for you finally in this prayer session of fasting and praying in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God the same grace that took a raven and it brought bread for Elijah at Brook Cherith the same grace that took coin and put it in the mouth of a fish the same grace that turned five loaf and two fish to feed five thousand people with twelve baskets remaining by the power of the prophetic in the name of Jesus I connect you to strategic relationships <laughs> strategic relationships in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ I pray so we have come tonight very touched and humbled by your commitment I know that many of you have come here desiring God to visit you listen to me this God that we serve 
is the all-powerful God. He says, I have spoken once and twice have you heard that power belongeth to God. Ladies and gentlemen, let your faith be stretched from border to border because God wants to visit you now. Now is the moment where God begins to rewrite the stories of men's destinies. Now is the moment where age-long captivities, yokes and curses that have tied men, tied families, tied visions is about to give way because the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. It says, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Upon Mount Zion, it says, there shall be deliverance and holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and they said among the hidden, the Lord had done great things for us. It says, the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity, it says, like the streams of the Negev. Ladies and gentlemen, God is about to visit us as the mighty one, the mighty terrible one. And if you are ready and expectant, can you jump up on your feet and begin to pray in the spirit, a prayer of desperation and expectation. Someone is praying, someone is praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Someone is praying outside, make sure you pray. Shabaka parakato salega beretes yata. Shadas kabereka de belekatosha. Hamprata kaparakato saka de belekatosha. Pray! Your ministry is about to be shifted. You are entering the apostolic and prophetic era of your ministry. Something is about to descend from heaven and rest upon your life. Sad is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen. I want to pray for you now. There is a fire of God that is able to bring deliverance unto men. Let me explain to you what deliverance is from scripture. Deliverance is not warring and fighting with demon spirits. That is ignorance. Deliverance is the systemic art of establishing the victory of Christ in experience over the life of believers or unbelievers who have been plagued and victimized by Satan and his cohorts. And there are three levels to biblical deliverance. The first is casting out the spirit influences that are influencing the believers or possessing the unbelievers. The second dimension of deliverance is deliverance through the word, the methodical teaching of the word that brings transformation. The third and final aspect that seals deliverance is called the discipline of conformity where the believer will take responsibility and walk in keeping with the truths that have been allotted for your victory. Are we together? So when we pray and rebuke spirits, we do that number one 
because the Bible says say unto God how terrible art thou in thy work Psalm 66 verse 3 it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you there are three access points only three from scripture wherein Satan and all demon spirits oppress all men including the saints all the attacks and the yokes of darkness over men on earth are only through three avenues number one covenants number two ignorance number three disobedience these are the only platforms upon which Satan plagues believers the highest of the three is covenants because it has a transgenerational implication so you do not have to be an active participant of what makes you a victim this is where the realities of bloodlines and yokes and all these kinds of satanic hindrances come but the Bible says they overcame them by the blood of the lamb and the words of their testimony hallelujah I'm saying this so that you will open your heart to receive. There are many people who have come here gathered tonight and all kinds of satanic spirits. How do you know that Satan is attempting to possess, influence, or manipulate your life? The Bible tells us when there is stealing, when there is killing, when there is destruction, that the thief cometh not but for to steal. And it, Mount Zion is the authorized place for deliverance. It says upon Mount Zion, not outside Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, then holiness, then the sons of Jacob will possess their possessions. Now here's what I'm going to pray. And please, whether you are an usher or not, I can imagine that the ushers will be limited. When someone is under the anointing and I ask you to bring them out, please do well to cooperate. Just bring them out, whether you're an usher or not. Do well to help them. If I do ask that you bring them, there's a reason why I ask them to bring them to the front. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you and then we'll minister to the sick and then we'll watch God begin to turn your life around. That in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the Bible says, we will be changed. Something in your life, there are chains that will be loose right now. There are people who have been tied down by yokes. Nobody rising from your family. Nobody excelling. Women becoming the men in that family. Whereas the men are subjugated in shame. Now, thanks be to God, he says, which always causes us to triumph. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now you're going to shout the name Jesus. I will instruct that you shout the name Jesus at the count of three. That name that has been so exalted above every other name. And the Bible says that at that name every knee will bow of things in heaven, earth and under the earth. And that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father. I want to pray. I'm going to be ministering the power of God to bring captivity to an end now and all those listen all those who are under the anointing under this decree please I want you to bring them out as I pray there are two people right now who will shout under the anointing one inside one outside this is what God is telling me the moment that happened I'm ready to pray for them bring them out that's not the shout the shout is coming there is a loud shout inside now. The power of God is going to come on someone. And why God does these things, I honestly do not know. These are just signs and wonders, manifestations of his spirit. There is a loud shout. When that shout comes, you will know that is the shout. The Bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. And God does these things as prophetic acts. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So once that shout comes, Please bring them out. Then I begin to pray. Are you ready to pray now? Thank you, Jesus. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, I'm seeing chains. I'm even hearing the sounds of chains. Chains that have been tying men. It's time for you to be free now. Father, I come by this apostolic and prophetic mandate. And in the name of Jesus over Takuradi, I decree and declare that every gate 
and every ancient door that has tied down lives, tied down ministries. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I decree and declare in the name of him who died and rose again that at this shout, let every chain that has bound you give way now. Are you ready at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be loose now. Be loose now. Be loose now. Bring them out in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare every covenant, yokes of ancestry, manifestations of darkness. In the name of Jesus, the Lord rebuke you. 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 The Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord rebuke you. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a vision. I'm seeing the feet of people tied with chains. And the Lord is saying I should lose it. I don't know where that person is. In the name of Jesus, let that fire rest on you now. I lose that chain. I lose that chain right now. Every ancient chain that has tied you down, tied your ministry down, be loose now. Be loose now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing something in the middle opening up and I'm seeing something come out like a sea creature and the Lord is saying to destroy Leviathan in the name of Jesus I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic that every spirit over this climate lift up your heads all ye gates and be ye lifted over Takoradi in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with all the men of God here and we make proclamations every spirit that has tied destinies down covenants with the waters covenants with the earth let Dagon fall before the ark let Dagon fall before the ark let Dagon fall before the ark. Let Dagon fall before the ark. Let Dagon fall before the ark in the name of Jesus Christ. Now hear me. Hallelujah. Please hear me. The Lord is saying I should pray when the front is full you just hold the people there may not be any more space to bring them out but in the name of Jesus the Lord is saying I should pray for men there is a spirit that has held the hands of men so that they don't seem to rise he said son of man what seest thou and he said I saw four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Jerusalem against Judah against Israel so that no man could lift up his head he said but I have sent four carpenters I come as a privileged carpenter tonight every horn that has tied any man here those chains be broken now be broken now be broken now 
be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now be broken now Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to rebuke a spirit that does not allow ministry to rise. Jesus said, and I, if I be lifted up from the earth, I don't know which man of God is sincere but has struggled because it looks like these horns want to keep you down. In the name of Jesus, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every ceiling over your ministry, every ceiling that is frustrating you, I decree and declare, I push you to the next level of your prophetic assignment. I push you by the Spirit in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Are you ministers of the gospel? I saw fire coming on you. I stretched my hands. Let that grace rest on you now. Take that grace now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take that grace now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Power within your spirit. To excel. To rise. To thrive. Everything tying you down. Be loose from it now. Hallelujah. Please listen. In Judges chapter 6. When the angel of the Lord came and met a young boy called Gideon, he told him, he said, thou mighty man of fellow. And Gideon said, no, I am the least in my father's house. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. And he said, my father's family is the least. I said that to describe somebody in this meeting, that you may think you are the least, but fire is coming from heaven. Oh Gideon, where are you? Arise. I call you by the voice of prophecy. Gideon, arise. Arise to be empowered. Arise like a warrior that you are. I release that mantle over you. Gideon, arise. Gideon, arise. Gideon, arise. Blow the shofar. Blow the shofar. Let the army arise that will defeat the Midianites. In the name of Jesus Christ. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my hand. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. You're my glory, the lifter up of my head. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Is my glory, the lifter up of my head. Is my glory. Now hear me. The Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that there are going to be seven prophetic worshippers. Please hear me. There are many worshippers, I presume, in Ghana and Takoradi, but there are seven prophetic worshippers. That God is going to raise from this nation seven prophetic worshipers, not just musicians, men who understand the art of worship after the order of David. Worship is a ladder in the spirit. Seven prophetic worshipers. There is a grace that is mantling men and women who have been called into the ministry of psalmistry. I know that some of you are here. You are called into the ministry of psalmistry. I want to translate you today from being a musician to being a worshiper. There is a difference. Let that grace rest on you now. Take that fire. Oh, you will write the songs of Miriam. 
Miriam said, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Receive the grace to write songs, songs of revival, songs of power, word compliant songs in the name of Jesus Christ. I sense in my spirit to release a grace upon end time kingdom financiers. There are men and women. Ah, after the order of Joseph of Arimathea, there are men and women here. The grace that will come on you, you will handle resources for the kingdom. I decree and declare, where are they? These end time financial apostles over Ghana, take that grace. Take that grace. The grace to do business in deep waters. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus, the prince of Tyre and Sidon will not be able to stop you. You will prosper even as your soul prospers. Financial apostles, mighty grace is coming upon you. Mighty grace is coming upon you. Ordinary men will arise within a short time commanding resources for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Let me pray for those in front here and release them. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that has manipulated anyone here, I speak as one sent. Release them now. Release them now. Your yoke over them by the blood of the eternal covenant. It speaks against you. Therefore, pack your load and live your life now. 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 In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. Therefore, I declare your liberty in Christ. You are free indeed and free forever. In the name of Jesus, as many who can go back to their seats, you can gently carry them. Those who are under the anointing, just leave them. But as many who are strong to return back to their seats, please let them return. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man that is great, but something has covered your glory. Nobody is able to see what you stand for. You are a man of God. You are sincere, doing ministry with integrity. But why you cannot rise to global visibility, you do not know. And the Lord is saying to lose that veil. I decree and declare over the ministers of the gospel whose glories have been covered. I stand here as a privileged servant of God. Let your glory be unveiled now. Be unveiled now. In the name of Jesus. That right from where you are, let the nations place a demand upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a hear ye him anointing. It is a grace for visibility. Being gifted is not enough. When that grace is not upon you, you can be Joseph, you will still be in the prison. May that grace, that hear ye him anointing, is not only for men of God, it can give businesses visibility. It can give every other thing visibility. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Please don't be distracted. I want you to pay attention. God is doing something in your spirit. There is someone God is showing me. You are going to start a prophetic prayer meeting. This is what I'm saying. God has been training you. But there is a mantle, mighty mantle 
that is coming upon you you will steer the hearts of men to pray and you will see results in prayer i don't know who that person is but from heaven may that grace rest now may that grace rest now i impart upon you that grace steer an army for jesus steer an army for jesus men of prayer and character and consecration and fire in the name of jesus christ hallelujah before i pray for the sick the lord is asking me to release one grace that many people need is called the finisher's anointing my bible says the hand of zerubbabel that began this work there are many people who start things that they do not finish they start businesses and a spirit comes to sit upon their progress they get a job and they do not rise to the zenith of their career there is the finisher's anointing i decree and declare if it is true that god is alpha over your life then i declare may he be the omega you will not start and end in shame receive the finisher's anointing in business receive the finisher's anointing students receive the finisher's anointing in the name of jesus christ now hear me please ladies and gentlemen please listen to me listen to me i want to pray for the sick do you know why the healing ministry is powerful and it is needed i'm saying this because i'm not only going to pray for the sick somebody here must carry a genuine healing anointing no lies no stage management no crooks no 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 nonsense and wasting no 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 genuine potent grace many years ago i traveled to a renhard bunker crusade I was already a man of God but I desired the healing grace genuinely I didn't want to deceive God's people playing games with their intelligence there was a crowd of people tens of thousands of people and that first night I stood there and the man came of blessed memory simple message and he preached I saw mighty wonders of God's power by the second day I came early I said I do not just want to be a spectator I want to serve that anointing and so when I came they were willing people and I said please let me help they said no I was not trained in the committee I said committee or not you don't know where I'm coming from I came with hunger in my spirit while I was willing the people to the front I said Lord this is how it will also happen in my meetings because the Bible says without all contradiction the less is blessed of the greater can I tell you when your oil finishes the bible says go to them that sell and buy there are men that have been given they are custodians of this grace paul says we are stewards of the mystery go to them that sell and buy buy with hunger buy with humility buy with meekness by the second day my hunger and desperation had gotten to the heavens and when he preached a simple message he was about to drink a cup of water and then minister to the sick when my eyes were opened and i saw this giant bird hovering around the entire crusade ground i thought others were seeing it but i was the only one who was seeing it it was not flying it was soaring and the spirit of god took me to genesis 1 verse 2 and the spirit of god hovered around the face of the waters and the lord told me the union of the movement of the spirit and the spoken word is what produces the miraculous by the time i came back to myself i had backed the stage and that began the beginning of a dimension of signs and wonders i'm saying that because i want to pray for the sick because of our time, I'm not sure we may have the time. It is, it's always sad that we don't have the time to testify. But at least let me pray for you. We still have other sessions and you can testify. I need to pray for you. Two things. To pray for the sick. But then 
to also release that grace let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen i'm sure you are learning by now that the days of superstar christianity is over god is not it's not about one man and shining men it's about men who have been privileged to touch the grace of god freely giving that grace to as many who desire so that the body of christ be empowered when one candle lights another it does not reduce the light on the first one As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing. The saints and the angels bow, the redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Ale Shabakosi. The saints and the angels bow, help him. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to place your hand everywhere you are trusting God for a miracle. Go ahead by faith. The power of God is moving here to heal. Do you know why healing is important? Everybody please look up. Let me teach you something for one minute before I pray for you. Do you know why healing is very important? I will tell you. Healing is important because everybody is only given one body per lifetime. You are only entitled to one body per lifetime and based on the law of territory your longevity what you call life what you call longevity only depends on the health of your body there is a health requirement for your spirit to remain in your body and when your body is so deteriorated beyond a certain threshold your spirit will be mandated by design to leave that body whether your time on earth is there or not so every time satan afflicts you it is death in a measure the goal of sickness is to deteriorate the various parts of your body hopefully that it will keep graduating until you get to a point where the health requirement needed for your longevity it can come as high blood pressure it can come as diseases it can come as nameless satanic sicknesses that cannot be diagnosed medically here's what the bible says acts 10 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good and healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says, for God was with him. In Matthew chapter 10, I believe, from verse 8, the Bible says, as ye go preach, say in verse 7, the kingdom of heaven is within your reach. It is at hand. Prove the validity of that kingdom, verse 8, by healing the sick, verse 8. Now, cleansing the lepers, raising the dead, and casting out devils. He says, freely you have received, freely give. So when we pray for the sick, it's more than showing that a man of God is anointed. It is God speaking to you that he desires you to live long and strong. I've been a victim of sickness. I know what it means to be oppressed. If you have not been sick, you will not know the value of healing. Everything in your life is forced to mark time. Your business and everything. Ask a dying man. His greatest desire is not more money. Hezekiah was told by a prophet that he was about to die. Can I tell you? When you feel pain here and you say no problem, you have given Satan license to multiply it. You see, 
in the early church in Acts chapter 12 the Bible says that certain the Jews were vexed and that Herod set himself to vex certain Jews and the Bible says that James was caught and beheaded and the church kept quiet and the Bible says when he saw that it pleased the Jews he proceeded further to catch Peter so every time Satan launches an attack and you keep quiet and justify it he proceeds further proceeds further I've been oppressed by sickness I know what it means preachers there is an attack on men of God to see that because there are many people connected to you the devil will just want to sweep you away there are men Satan does not want to backslide he wants them to die because once they are out of the scene it will be a big loss for the body of Christ Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Keep your hands there now. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb upon the throne. And unto you we lift our voice in praise. You're the Lamb upon the throne. I want to rebuke sickness now. And I want you to believe with all your heart. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest. And by the way, you can stand for someone who is not here. The centurion stood for his son and said, I am a man under authority, having men under me. I say to one, go and he goes. Come and he comes. He says, speak the word only. I want to pray. Agree with me as you shout a loud amen when I begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help them. Every spirit of infirmity, you don't have to bring them out. In the name that is above all names, I declare, leave God's people now. Leave God's people now. Now in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. Be healed right now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your, your feet, let that healing fire flow through your body right now. Let that healing fire cleanse your blood right now your organs right now in the name of Jesus I command eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus every deaf ear here partially or totally deaf be open now everyone here with difficulty in walking bone problems life to your limbs right now in the name of Jesus Christ anyone who is not able to move any part of your body I command begin to move it now there's someone you have severe pain at the right side of your neck the Lord is revealing it to me I command healing right now healing right now every blood situation here any medical condition here represented that is blood related i don't care how long it has been let your blood apparatus i'm sensing fire leaving my hands in the name of jesus your blood be cleansed now your blood be cleansed now somebody from the back the right side the hand of God is resting upon you. Your blood is being cleansed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any growth in your body, any part of your body, satanic lump around your bodies in the name of Jesus, let those growths die and dissolve out of your body. Shout a believing amen. I'm seeing a vision and I'm seeing someone's father having kidney issues. You're having issue of kidney 
in the name of Jesus we pray for Baba wherever he is whether he's in a hospital he's overseas by the power that raised Christ from the dead let healing rest upon our father right now hallelujah the Lord is saying I should rebuke the spirit of death why am I seeing people gather like an obituary and that a few weeks after now someone just left like that in the name of Jesus I don't know which family that is but by the power of the Holy Spirit help them please death you are a spirit and I speak to you let God's people go now that you help them my God help them that plague of death I command release God's people now that the fullness of their days they fulfill in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here called Barry you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb for no matter how long I want to pray for you right where you are place your hand on your stomach as a sign of faith right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you as Elisha spoke to the woman in Shunem according to the time of life return with your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ there's someone the Lord is showing me just right here severe pain around your back in the name of Jesus Christ that lumbar area the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now the power of God is touching you right now now there's someone I'm seeing you are not sick but you cannot sleep I prayed for a similar issue in the meeting before I came here once you wake up in the night that is the end of it no matter what you do it's an attack please hear me it's not just a medical condition the Lord is saying to declare your liberty for the Bible says I lay me down and I slept I wait for the Lord sustain me that he giveth his beloved sleep everyone here who has been frustrated that when you should sleep the devil keeps you awake to frustrate you in the name of Jesus be free from that plague now I've seen this case that God showed me before that you are a woman you are not nursing a child but you are lactating I don't know what the medical condition is so a woman is producing breast milk but she's not with a child this is what the Lord is showing me there's someone with that situation in the name of Jesus I decree and declare right now let that oppression over your body come to an end now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Lord is telling me rebuke prostrate prostrate there's someone that thing is at his infancy is now beginning to affect you you go to ease yourself you are a man and you find out there is difficulty and you've been quiet you've not shared it with many people it is the devil programming prostrate cancer in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is whether you are inside or outside I declare cancer of any sort any sort whether prostrate cancer breast cancer lung cancer brain tumors in Jesus name for you or for your loved ones overseas be healed now be healed now I'm seeing someone who treats malaria every month regardless what happens you treat it and a new month comes you start feeling cold and then you treat it again you've done this thing for over four months back to back the Lord is saying I should minister to you in the name of Jesus that plague leaves you once and for all help that plague leaves you once and for all it leaves you once and for all once and for all there is someone you have a father the man I don't know the medical people who help us he forgets things he's losing his memory 
this is what I'm seeing. Dementia is called. And the Lord is asking me to pray because he's now beginning to forget people. They have to tap him and remind him and say, this is this. It's a brain problem, a coordination problem he's having. And the Lord is saying we should pray for him. In the name of Jesus, for him and any other person suffering from dementia, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let there be restoration of your memory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, any medical situation at all, whether I mentioned it directly or not, provided it is not of God and it is inconsistent with the will of God, I decree and declare unto you, in partnership with all the graces here represented, be healed now. I hope you know that humans are not the only species of God's creation that can be healed. In the Bible, waters were healed, plants were healed, everything God created that has life also needs healing. Are we together? A territory can be healed. Is it not in your Bible? I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and heal their land, not just their body. A land can be wounded. The same thing that happens to a human being can happen to a land. You know when a land is, is wounded because it exhibits the symptoms of a sick person. No productivity. When a person is sick, the first thing that happens is the bankruptcy of vitality and strength. A land can be barren, bankrupt of vitality and strength. That the GDP of a territory can crash down as a testament that the land is sick. At that point, it will need the bomb in Gilead. Territories can be sick. I hear oil has been discovered in your area. Now that is good news. But I want to pray that you will be blessed by it. Because there is a spirit that makes the blessing of a territory to only benefit strangers. And that the people within the territory never eat of it. The Bible says the increase of the field is for all that even the king is fed by that which comes from the field. So everything that comes from the field is for all. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to be very sensitive over what I want to speak in your life now. Every door that has been closed over your life, your ministry, your destiny, your family look at me please a door is an authorized system of access you your house has a number of rooms am i right on that and those rooms are demarcated with walls and doors am i right and then there is a master door without which you cannot access your house it's a spiritual strategy that architecture borrowed because you see Connecting your kitchen and your living room is a door. You can be in the house, yet you are incapacitated because the door that leads from the living room to the kitchen is not there. If you are hungry, you don't need your living room. You need your kitchen. But if you do not, the door is not open, you can be limited. Closed doors mean limitations. Limitations in progress. And according to scripture, there are three ways we open doors. Number one, through the use of correct keys. When you use a correct key, a door is open. Number two, by knocking. But when you knock, it depends on the willingness of the other person. The third way to open doors permanently is the use of force. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang. And the jailers heard them. Suddenly, there was an earthquake. It rattled the foundation of the prison. And the Bible says, and all doors open. Not some. All doors. Financial doors. You see that now. Career doors open. We're about to pray. Every door, in whatever form and fashion, please receive this one. I decree and declare over every closed door, a fata be open. Be open. Business doors be open. Ministerial doors be open. 
marital doors be open career doors be open even doors for the advancement of the gospel be open in the name of Jesus Christ number two I want to pray Paul said I desire to come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us favor desire to come to you but Satan hindered it breakthrough desire to come to you but Satan hindered it everything that has been hindered from reaching you I stand as a prophetic midwife I push it to your hands I push it into your hands in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation is born but he said as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I don't know how long you have stayed without birthing that which is locked up in your spirit but I have come as a midwife listen listen so you shout amen with understanding there is a man in the Bible who was a victim of the carelessness of a midwife called Mephibosheth he was not an evil baby the midwife that handled his delivery was not competent enough and the man became crippled forever it matters who help you delivering what is coming out the carelessness of a midwife can produce a Mephibosheth even though he was favored by David but he remained crippled forever I come as a prophetic midwife that which is long overdue in your spirit the giftings the visions the dreams the ideas in the name of Jesus deliver safely now deliver safely now the Bible says and there was war in heaven a woman who was pregnant with child a man child about to deliver and there was a dragon that stood before her waiting to eat the child but the elements of creation cooperated with that woman and took her to a safe place I speak to the wind I speak to every element that God created may they partner with the Holy Ghost in your safe delivery in the name of Jesus Christ is it not in your Bible that the stars fought for Deborah? Is it not in your Bible that hailstones came from heaven on account of God's people? Is it not in your Bible that the sun stood still for Joshua? Everything God created can serve his bidding. Hallelujah. 